Vapor pressure or equilibrium vapor pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by a vapor in thermodynamic equilibrium with its condensed phases solid or liquid at a given temperature in a closed system. The equilibrium vapor pressure is an indication of a liquid's evaporation rate. It relates to the tendency of particles to escape from the liquid or a solid. A substance with a high vapor pressure at normal temperatures is often referred to as volatile. The pressure exhibited by vapor present above a liquid surface is known as vapor pressure. As the temperature of a liquid increases, the kinetic energy of its molecules also increases. As the kinetic energy of the molecules increases, the number of molecules transitioning into a vapor also increases, thereby increasing the vapor pressure. The vapor pressure of any substance increases non-linearly with temperature according to the clausius clapeyron relation. The atmospheric pressure boiling point of a liquid also known as the normal boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure equals the ambient atmospheric pressure. With any incremental increase in that temperature, the vapor pressure becomes sufficient to overcome atmospheric pressure and lift the liquid to form vapor bubbles inside the bulk of the substance. Bubble formation deeper in the liquid requires a higher temperature due to the higher fluid pressure, because fluid pressure increases above the atmospheric pressure as the depth increases. More important at shallow depths is the higher temperature required to start bubble formation. The surface tension of the bubble wall leads to an overpressure in the very small, initial bubbles. Thus, thermometer calibration should not rely on the temperature in boiling water. The vapor pressure that a single component in a mixture contributes to the total pressure in the system is called partial pressure. For example, air at sea level, and saturated with water vapor at 20 degrees Celsius, has partial pressures of about 2.3 kPa of water, 78 kPa of nitrogen, 21 kPa of oxygen, and 0.9 kPa of argon, totaling 102.2 kPa, making the basis for standard atmospheric pressure. Measurement and units Vapor pressure is measured in the standard units of pressure. The International System of Units recognizes pressure as a derived unit with the dimension of force per area and designates the pascal as its standard unit. One pascal is 1 newton per square meter Nm or kilogram M1 S2. Experimental measurement of vapor pressure is a simple procedure for common pressures between 1 and 200 kPa. Most accurate results are obtained near the boiling point of substances and large errors result for measurements smaller than 1 kPa. Procedures often consist of purifying the test substance, isolating it in a container, evacuating any foreign gas, then measuring the equilibrium pressure of the gaseous phase of the substance in the container at different temperatures. Better accuracy is achieved when care is taken to ensure that the entire substance and its vapor are at the prescribed temperature. This is often done, as with the use of an isotoniscope, by submerging the containment area in a liquid bath. Very low vapor pressures of solids can be measured using the Knudsen effusion cell method. In a medical context, vapor pressure is sometimes expressed in other units, specifically millimeters of mercury MMHG. This is important for volatile anesthetics, most of which are liquids at body temperature, but with a relatively high vapor pressure. Anesthetics with a higher vapor pressure at body temperature will be excreted more quickly, as they are exhaled from the lungs. Estimating vapor pressures with Antoine equation The Antoine equation is a mathematical expression of the relation between the vapor pressure and the temperature of pure liquid or solid substances. The basic form of the equation is log P equals a minus B C plus T display style log P equals a frac B C plus T and it can be transformed into this temperature explicit form. T equals B A minus log 
P minus C display style T equals frac B a log P C where P display style P is the absolute vapor pressure of a substance T display style T is the temperature of the substance display style a b display style b and c display style c are substance specific coefficients ie constants or parameters log display style log is typically either log 10 display style log underscore 10 or log e display style log underscore e a simpler form of the equation with only two coefficients is sometimes used log p equals a minus b t display style log p equals a frac b t which can be transformed to t equals b a minus log p display style t equals frac b a log p sublimations and vaporizations of the same substance have separate sets of antoine coefficients as do components in mixtures each parameter set for a specific compound is only applicable over a specified temperature range Generally, temperature ranges are chosen to maintain the equation's accuracy of a few up to 8 to 10%. For many volatile substances, several different sets of parameters are available and used for different temperature ranges. The Antoine equation has poor accuracy with any single parameter set when used from a compound's melting point to its critical temperature. Accuracy is also usually poor when vapor pressure is under 10 torr because of the limitations of the apparatus used to establish the Antoine parameter values. The Wagner equation gives, "...one of the best", fits to experimental data but is quite complex. It expresses reduced vapor pressure as a function of reduced temperature. Relation to boiling point of liquids As a general trend, vapor pressures of liquids at ambient temperatures increase with decreasing boiling points. This is illustrated in the vapor pressure chart that shows graphs of the vapor pressures versus temperatures for a variety of liquids. At the normal boiling point of a liquid, the vapor pressure is equal to the standard atmospheric pressure defined as 1 atmosphere 760 torr or 101.325 kPa or 14.69595 psi. For example, at any given temperature, methyl chloride has the highest vapor pressure of any of the liquids in the chart. It also has the lowest normal boiling point minus 24.2 degrees Celsius, which is where the vapor pressure curve of methyl chloride the blue line intersects the horizontal pressure line of one atmosphere ATM of absolute vapor pressure. Although the relation between vapor pressure and temperature is nonlinear, the chart uses a logarithmic vertical axis to produce slightly curved lines, so one chart can graph many liquids. A nearly straight line is obtained when the logarithm of the vapor pressure is plotted against 1, T plus 230 where T is the temperature in degrees Celsius. The vapor pressure of a liquid at its boiling point equals the pressure of its surrounding environment. Liquid mixtures Raoul 
S law gives an approximation to the vapor pressure of mixtures of liquids. It states that the activity pressure or fugacity of a single phase mixture is equal to the mole fraction weighted sum of the components. Vapor pressures P T O T equals I P Y I equals I P I S A T X I Display style p underscore tot equals sum underscore i p y underscore i equals sum underscore i p underscore i caret sat x underscore i, where p t o t display style p underscore tot is the mixture's vapor pressure. X I display style x underscore I is the mole fraction of component I display style I in the liquid phase and Y I display style Y underscore I is the mole fraction of component i display style i in the vapor phase respectively p i s a t display style p underscore i caret sat is the vapor pressure of component I display style I Raoul's law is applicable only to non-electrolytes uncharged species it is most appropriate for nonpolar molecules with only weak intermolecular attractions such as London forces systems that have vapor pressures higher than indicated by the above formula are said to have positive deviations such a deviation suggests weaker intermolecular attraction than in the pure components, so that the molecules can be thought of as being held in the liquid phase less strongly than in the pure liquid. An example is the azeotrope of approximately 95% ethanol and water. Because the azeotrope's vapor pressure is higher than predicted by Raoul's law, it boils at a temperature below that of either pure component. There are also systems with negative deviations that have vapor pressures that are lower than expected. Such a deviation is evidence for stronger intermolecular attraction between the constituents of the mixture than exists in the pure components. Thus, the molecules are «held in» the liquid more strongly when a second molecule is present. An example is a mixture of trichloromethane chloroform and 2-propanone which boils above the boiling point of either pure component. The negative and positive deviations can be used to determine thermodynamic activity coefficients of the components of mixtures. Solids Equilibrium vapor pressure can be defined as the pressure reached when a condensed phase is in equilibrium with its own vapor. In the case of an equilibrium solid, such as a crystal, this can be defined as the pressure when the rate of sublimation of a solid matches the rate of deposition of its vapor phase. For most solids this pressure is very low, but some notable exceptions are naphthalene, dry ice the vapor pressure of dry ice is 5.73 MPa 56.5 atmospheres at 20 degrees Celsius, which causes most sealed containers to rupture, and ice. All solid materials have a vapor pressure. However, due to their often extremely low values, measurement can be rather difficult. Typical techniques include the use of thermogravimetry and gas transpiration. 
There are a number of methods for calculating the sublimation pressure i.e., the vapor pressure of a solid. One method is to estimate the sublimation pressure from extrapolated liquid vapor pressures of the supercooled liquid, if the heat of fusion is known, by using this particular form of the clausius clapeyron relation. Lane P S S U B equals lane P L S U B minus delta F U S H R one T S U B minus one T F U South Display style lane p underscore erm s caret erm sub equals lane p underscore erm l caret erm sub frac delta underscore erm fus h r left frac one t underscore erm sub frac one t underscore erm fus right, where p s s U B display style p underscore erm s caret erm sub is the sublimation pressure of the solid compen. And at the temperature T S U B T F U S display style t underscore erm sub p l s u b display style p underscore erm l caret erm sub is the extrapolated vapor pressure of the liquid component at the temperature t s u b t f u s display style t underscore erm sub delta f u s h display style delta underscore erm fus h is the heat of fusion. R display style R is the gas constant. T s u B display style T underscore erm sub is the sublimation temperature T F U S display style T underscore erm fus is the melting point temperature. This method assumes that the heat of fusion is temperature independent, ignores additional transition temperatures between different solid phases, and it gives a fair estimation for temperatures not too far from the melting point. It also shows that the sublimation pressure is lower than the extrapolated liquid vapor pressure delta fush greater than zero, and the difference grows with increased distance from the melting point. Boiling point of water Like all liquids, water boils when its vapor pressure reaches its surrounding pressure. In nature, the atmospheric pressure is lower at higher elevations and water boils at a lower temperature. The boiling temperature of water for atmospheric pressures can be approximated by the Antoine equation log 10 p equals 8.07131 minus 1730.63 233.426 plus t b Display style log underscore ten p equals eight point zero seven one three one frac one thousand seven hundred thirty point six three two hundred thirty three point four two six plus t underscore b or transformed into this temperature explicit form t 
B equals 8.07131 minus log 10 p minus 233 426 display style t underscore b equals frac 1730.63 8.07131 log underscore 10 p 233.426 where the temperature t b display style t underscore b is the boiling point in degrees celsius and the pressure p display style p underscore is in tor during's rule During's rule states that a linear relationship exists between the temperatures at which two solutions exert the same vapor pressure. Examples The following table is a list of a variety of substances ordered by increasing vapor pressure in absolute units. Estimating vapor pressure from molecular structure Several empirical methods exist to estimate liquid vapor pressure from molecular structure for organic molecules. Some examples are SIMPOL, the method of Mahler et al., and evaporation. Meaning in meteorology In meteorology, the term vapor pressure is used to mean the partial pressure of water vapor in the atmosphere, even if it is not in equilibrium, and the equilibrium vapor pressure is specified otherwise. Meteorologists also use the term saturation vapor pressure to refer to the equilibrium vapor pressure of water or brine above a flat surface, to distinguish it from equilibrium vapor pressure, which takes into account the shape and size of water droplets and particulates in the atmosphere. See also Vapor pressure of water Absolute humidity Lee Kessler method Reed vapor pressure Relative humidity Relative volatility Saturation vapor density Osmotic coefficient Triple point True vapor pressure Vapor liquid equilibrium Vapor pressures of the elements data page. References External links Fluid characteristics chart Hyperphysics MSDS vapor pressure Online vapor pressure calculation tool requires registration Prediction of vapor pressures of pure liquid organic compounds